Today we're bringing you the top five neighborhoods in Harpers Ferry that you'll want to explore if you're thinking about a move to Jefferson County. Moving to a new town or even new state can feel really daunting. So we're here to fill you in on what you need to know so that you can decide if it makes sense to spend time exploring Harpers Ferry. Your time is precious, so before you post something on Facebook about wanting to move and then wanting to delete your account all of a sudden because of all the messages you're getting from realtors, spend a few minutes with us. If you love picturesque landscapes, rich history, tight-knit communities, and a train ride that's about one and a half hours from DC, then stick around, we've got the details. While we're only covering five neighborhoods today, there are many more amazing neighborhoods in Harpers Ferry. For sure. If you want a copy of all the neighborhoods that we have, including links with homes that have sold to see examples of what you'll find in the area, just send us a message. Our first stop, has to be the historic district. You can't go to Harper's Ferry without going there. No, and this is truly what people think of when they hear Harper's Ferry. Here you get a feel for charming, old world allure. It's like traveling back in time. Yeah, definitely. Every time we visit here, I'm blown away by how well preserved so many of the homes are, and I get caught up imagining what life was like hundreds of years ago. This district is home to many well-preserved structures showcasing the architectural styles from the 19th century. Imagine being surrounded by buildings that witnessed the events of the Civil War. That's my husband's dream, pretty yeah, much. True. Yeah. <laughs> it is a tourist destination, so if you're going to live in this area, expect to deal with crowds at times. There are some stunning views if you're high up enough up on the hill, and then you can, of course, avoid the trafficy parts if you just go up to Bolivar on yeah. the weekends. In terms of housing, if we include the entire town of Harpers Ferry, just west of the historic districts, the ages of the homes vary widely. From 1799 to 2018 and beyond, prices are from 275 all the way up to the high 700s. Lower price points tend to be major rehabs that would likely only qualify for cash purchase or a rehab loan, and you need a lot of work to make it habitable. True, it's a great project if you love a historic home and you don't mind quirky interiors. Plus, some of these properties could make amazing short-term rentals or weekend getaways since they're right by the Maryland Heights Trail and so many other amazing destinations. Yeah, you might need a nap after getting all the way up the mountain and back. <laughs> Especially if you're carrying your four-year-old at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more future exciting content. Next up, we have the Bolivar community that was just referenced. Nestled just above Harpers Ferry, it's a wonderful area named after Simon Bolivar who advocated to end slavery in several countries. From our research, we don't even know if he ever actually stepped foot in West Virginia. Not sure. But if they you know. really felt connected to him and they wanted to name it after him. Yep, if you know, please tell us in the comments. We're very <laughs> curious and have not found anything. Now, this town has an interesting history. It grew quickly in the early 1800s as it became a focal point for oil production. So there are a lot of homes built between 1825 and 1900. There's also a lot of homes built between 1980 and 2023. Yeah, prices here average around 330 with a range of the mid hundreds to lower 700s and are selling on average in 30 to 50 days. If you're looking for a smaller community with a tight knit feel, Boulevard might be a great fit. That's a pretty big range in prices. It sure is. <laughs> if you're looking for a newer home, you'll want to check out Gap View Village in Harpers mm. Ferry. Yep. This is an HOA community with homes built between 2001 and 2004. Gap View Village has an average sales price of 500,000 with homes ranging from the mid 400s all the way up to the 600s. They're selling on an average of 31 days. And of course you can enjoy some military style street names. Oh, tell me more. Like my favorite, Special Orders Court. Oh, okay. And how about General Early Drive as well? Oh yeah, that's one of the many generals you'll find there. Many generals. Another newer community is Sheridan Estates, just west of the historic Harpers Ferry. These homes were built between 2006 and 2018. Average price is 476. Homes typically sell within 10 days, so this is a hot one. Prices are ranging in the high 300s all the way up to almost 800,000. Yeah, these homes can be pretty big with some of the homes as large as 4,000 to 5,000 square feet. You're typically seeing four bedrooms, sometimes five bedrooms. So if you want more space and kind of a neighborhoody feel, if you're not as much into the older quirky homes, this is a great place to look for sure. Lastly, if you want a home that makes you feel like you're on vacation, check out Shannondale. This is a community built around a man-made lake in the 50s. It was originally a second home community for people living in DC. Interesting fact. Yeah. There are some truly stunning homes here centered around the lake with great views of the water, a private beach that you can access through the Mountain Lake Club. Yep. The membership there is available to the public for use of the beach and lake. Mm -hmm. And it's around 250 to 300 a year, depending on your circumstances. And they have a great restaurant there too. They do. Yeah. Yep. You don't have to be a member to go. Mm -mm. <laughs> Home prices vary widely here between 
30,000 all the way up to 720,000. There are some land lots that get sold. The average price is around 315,000 and the homes are selling in about 15 days. Yeah, another hot market. I think we know the agents that sold the record setting home at 720. Oh, I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> so these are five popular neighborhoods in Harpers Ferry with lots of sale records, but we want to reiterate that there are many other great neighborhoods that we can't wait to share with you. Yeah, send us an email or give us a call if you have more questions about Harper's Ferry and planning a possible move to Jefferson County. We're here for it. And if you're ready to learn even more about Jefferson County, you need to check out the pros and cons of living in Charlestown so that you can compare these two amazing locations. See you next time. <laughs> Over and out.